Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is crystallization. In this video, we will discuss what is crystallization, steps of crystal formation, how temperature affects the crystallization, what is supersaturation. So, let's see these questions one by one. So, the first question is what is crystallization? So, it is a solid liquid operation used to separate a solute from its solution in the form of crystals. That means, in crystallization, solid particles are formed from a liquid solution. During this operation, mass is transferred from the liquid phase, which is a solution, to a pure solid crystalline phase. Crystallization is an important operation in the chemical industry because the number of products has to be in the form of crystals. So in crystallization, in a single processing step, almost pure product of the desired size in the form of crystals is obtained. The solubility of the solute in a given solvent is different at different temperatures and it forms the basis of crystallization by cooling. Next question. Which are the two main steps involved in crystallization? So, there are two main steps involved in crystallization. So first step is, concentration of a solution, by evaporating a part of the solvent. And the second step is, cooling of solution, until the concentration of solute becomes, higher than its solubility at the prevailing temperature. Hence in both methods, the solute then comes out of the solution, that is precipitates, in the form of pure crystals. Now next question, what is the solubility of solute? So, the solubility of a solute in a given solvent, is the concentration of the solute in a saturated solution, at a given temperature. But what is meant by solute, solvent and solution? So the mixture of solute and solvent is called a solution. Then solute is a minor component in a solution, which is dissolved in a solvent. And solvent is major component in a solution, in which solute is dissolved. So, the concentration of a solute in a saturated solution is called the solubility of the solute in the solvent. The solubility of a solute in a given solvent depends on the nature of the solute, the nature of the solvent, and the prevailing temperature. But solubility mainly depends on temperature. The solubility of the solute in a given solvent is different at different temperatures. Solubility data are generally given in terms of as parts by weight of anhydrous solute material per 100 parts by weight of the solvent. For example, the solubility of MgSO4 in water at 293 Kelvin is 35.5 kg MgSO4 per 100 kg water. Now next question. What is a saturated solution? A saturated solution is defined as which is in equilibrium with an excess of solid solute at a given temperature. Let's take an example. Consider a process of dissolving copper sulfate in water at a given temperature, in which water is the solvent and copper sulfate is a solute. So initially, when some amount of copper sulfate is added, all of it goes into the solution. That is copper sulfate dissolves in water. Then additional amount can be dissolved further till a stage comes when no more copper sulfate can be dissolved in a given amount of the solvent. So at this stage, the solution is called a saturated solution. That means, the solution is saturated with copper sulfate. If the temperature of the solution is increased, more solute CuSO4 can be dissolved. 
Therefore, a saturated solution will contain different amounts of the solute dissolved in it at different temperatures. So that's all about questions of crystallization. In the next video, we will discuss another set of question. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.